Hi everyone, today we're going to be finding the sum of the kth powers of the first n positive integers. We already have seen one most basic version of this, which is that by Gauss's trick, 1 plus 2 plus 3 all the way through plus n is equal to n times n plus 1 over 2. The next question is, what about 1 to the k plus 2 to the k plus 3 to the k all the way through to n to the k? We'll call it SKN for, uh, we'll have n as a positive integer and k is also a positive integer. So we're going to be developing a technique to find a formula for this, although some of the formulas will be pretty complicated. And what we want to know is, is this a polynomial in the variable n for fixed k? So we're going to fix k as a positive integer and we want to find out whether in the variable n, which represents the first n positive integers, whether this sum here is a polynomial. And it'll turn out yes, it, we can write it as a polynomial. We're going to be using an idea of Pascal. I believe he came up with this method. And what he said is use the binomial theorem by the binomial theorem, what we get is that m plus 1, this is sort of like a lemma, so we're using a different variable, to the k plus 1 is equal to the sum from t equals 0 to k plus 1, and the expansion has coefficients k plus 1 choose t times m to the t. And what we're going to do is we're going to siphon off the top, the top degree uh, term. So we get m plus 1 to the k plus 1 minus m to the k plus 1 is equal to the sum, which is truncated now, from k plus 1 to k. And we get k plus 1 choose t times m to the t. And if you take a look at this over here, this thing is just ripe for telescoping. So we're going to take the sum of a whole bunch of these. So let's do that and see where that leads us. We're going to take the sum of m equals 1 through n. And this is, this is just an exploration. Like The idea of exploring this is natural and it happens to lead to a solution to our problem. So we have the sum from m equals 1 through n and we're putting this in here. So we have m plus 1 k to the k plus 1 minus m to the k plus 1. And when we telescope we get m plus 1 to the k plus 1 Actually, that, that's, uh, we get, because m, m is an index, so we, so we actually get n plus 1 to the k plus 1 minus 1 to the k plus 1, which is just, which is just uh, 1, so we don't need to put that in there. So we've telescoped, and that's what we got. And now we're going to use the binomial theorem result over here. So we get the sum from m equals 1 through n. And we have an inner sum now, which has t. t equals 0 through k of k plus 1 choose t to the uh, times m to the tth power. And now what we're going to do is we're going to apply the discrete Fubini principle, which sounds fancy, but it just means we're going to swap 
these two, which we can because they form full matrices. So t equals 0 through k with the inner sum m equals 1 through n of k plus 1 choose t, m to the t. And now we're going to sort of evaluate the inner sum, not really evaluate, but sort of get rid of this summation. So we get t equals 0 through k. And in here we have k plus 1 choose t. And what we're, we're, we're multiplying that by is 1 to the t plus 2 to the t plus 3 to the t all the way through to n to the t. And you can see here that this is just t equals 0 through k of k plus 1 choose t times s t n. And so now let's let's write down the left side here as well because uh, it's way up there. It's n plus 1 to the k plus 1 minus 1. And so we can just substitute in successes values of k and find out what this is equal to. Let's 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 do an example so that it's clear what's going on. Let's do uh, k equals to two because we already know the answers for k equals to zero and one. Um, one for zero it's just n, and for one is n times n plus one over two by Gauss's formula. But we don't know k equals to two yet for so the sum of the first n squares. So let's figure that out. What we get is n plus 1 cubed minus 1 is equal to so for t equals 0 we have k plus 1 choose 0 and s 0 n plus k plus 2 sorry k plus 1 choose actually the, the k we can just write it as a 2 here so we don't need to put in k so we get a 2 plus 1 choose 0, then we get 2 plus 1 choose 1 times S1n, and then we get plus 2 plus 1 choose 2 times S2 of n. And what that equals is uh, this one is just equal to n because it's just 1 to the 0 plus 2 to the 0 all the way through to n to the 0. So we get n plus over here we get 3 choose 1 which is 3 times n times n plus 1 over 2. And the last term is what we want to figure out. So we get 3 choose 2 which is 3 times s2 of n. So you see we can we have this on the left side and we have this on the right side and now we can isolate S2 of n. So let's figure that out. S2 of n which is equal to 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square all the way through to n square is simply equal to n plus 1 cubed minus 1 minus n minus 3n times n plus 1 over 2 and we're going to divide the whole thing by 3. Now at this point we found our polynomial but let's just go one step further and simplify it. So we have n cubed plus 3n squared plus 3n plus 1 minus 1 minus n minus 3n squared plus 3n over 2 and we're going to divide the whole thing again by 1 by 3 and so we have the ones cancel out here the n takes away 1 from this so we have 2n cubed plus 6n squared plus 4n minus 3n squared minus 3n divided by 2 and times one-third again. So we're going to be able to cancel 
this and put a 3 here and cancel this and put a 1 here. So that's just equal to 2n cubed plus 3n squared plus n divided by 6 and if you factor that you get n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 over 6 and that is the classic formula. So it does work out and that should give, tell you in general how to find skn. Okay, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.